हरे कृष्णा इज द मूवी आर 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 रिटेलिंग ऑफ द रामायण इन अ कंटेम्प्री परस्पेक्टिव आंसर इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनी कन्वेंशनल डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिटेलिंग इट इज सर्टनली नॉट अ रिटेलिंग because it talks about two freedom fighters who lived in recent times nowhere near the ramayan times and their lives had their own trajectories their own contexts so it's not a retelling of the ramayan but at the same time there are striking parallels between the way these characters and their non historical interactions are depicted in the movie so i would like to talk about this at four different levels with respect to reaching the ramayana or turning towards the ramayana so for example let's consider those who are already having a great taste for the ramayana and who love to directly hear the ramayana for them there is no need for any contemporary retellings like these or any stories which have themes from the ramayana but there is a lot of other things there is romance and there is so many other things which could very well be distractions so for uh, just like krishna talks in in the 10th canto of the bhagavatam it is said that krishna leela can be attractive for different kinds of people uh, even those who are interested in uh, transcendence those who are interested in even world uh, sensual seeming pleasures so like that the ramayana can be accessed at various different levels but those who are already accessing and relishing the ramayana directly in its uh, traditional devotional ethical uh, dimensions they for them this movie is not at all relevant it could very well be a distraction having said that there is a vast majority of people who don't fall in this category and if ra lord ram and ramayan and themes from the ramayan can be brought into their consciousness that could be a valuable service so krishna says in the bhagavad gita that jayosmi vyavasayosmi that i am victory i am adventure and many people so krishna is giving arjun in the 10th chapter of the bhagavad gita called vibhuti yoga the ability to see him and remember him in various dimensions of the world so in a war arjun is going to have fight and there is thrill and the thrill and adventure and there is victory and there is a exhilaration and all that which attracts people so and to some extent that thrill and exhilaration of adventure and victory also is experienced vicariously by people when they watch action movies so if we consider the top level of people who are already having taste for the ramayana and then we talk about an outermost level of people who have no awareness of the ramayana so they watch this movie they watch movies simply for the action and the thrill so they just forget everything else and become absorbed in it and at such times the adventure that they watch the thrill that they get through the adventure and the victory uh, that is actually they are experiencing krishna even if they don't know that they are experiencing krishna so they may watch uh, movies like uh, the uh, marvel movies or the dc universe or other kind of action movies uh, and they may enjoy it and if the indian movie industry can make movies with that caliber of action thrill adventure and within that there are some parallels with the ramayana then ramayana comes into the awareness and the consciousness of the people so there are some striking parallels when say <clears throat> there are two characters in the movie one is based broadly on ram the other is based broadly on hanuman so the character is called bhima Mm-hmm. he the bhima and hanuman are related both are vayuputras so he is broadly related there are some ways in which he is related with hanuman so for example in one fighting scene uh, 
where hanuman in the in the valmiki ramayana is described and in the kamba ramayana is described even further how hanuman carries ram on his shoulders and ram fights so there is a very striking scene which is similar over there then there is also the theme where Ra, uh, ram is captured by mahiravan and put in an under subterranean prison and then he is rescued by hanuman so similarly there is a theme of the character who is similar to ram who is put underground so uh, from whatever reviews i have read of the article of the movie there are similar themes like that which are now there is of course iconographic image which you came in the trailer also about how there is very striking similarity on the depiction of the character who is modeled on ram similar to ram he is using bow and arrow for fighting then there are a few other places also where there are similarities one particular place where you know, the character who is called bhim who is based on hanuman says that i will reunite sita and ram so so these we may say that are we stretching things and seeing uh, similarities with the rama and when they are actually not there well maybe maybe not no we can't go into the hearts of the directors and find out whether they had these intentions or not there if if they had that's wonderful if they didn't have then it's significant still that such parallels are there if you look at one of the prominent christian theologians cs lewis he wrote a series of books called the narnia series and in that uh, that is simply fiction at one level very attractive fiction which is widely read by children the in the narnia the main character the lion is actually based on jesus and his sacrifice toward the end uh, of one of the of out to the end of the series is similar to jesus jesus self sacrifice and crucifixion so there are christian themes within that which are depicted and cs lewis himself talked about different kinds of reading material which can be there so he talks about direct scriptural stories which people will read and there are fictional stories which people will read have which have nothing related with a god or religion or no themes like that and there could be fiction which points people towards religion towards in this case christianity they said this kind of so now many people will read narnia tales and they will not think about jesus at all and some may they may want to know more about swiss lewis they may want to know more about the symbolism and they may explore so for some people who know nothing about ramayana they may be attracted only by the action and adventure and um, and war and victory in that but that is also a dimension of krishna but in most other movies that action element doesn't connect them with krishna or in this case ram but in this case because there are similarities with lord ram people may start exploring more about ramayan and those so those who are already familiar with ramayan for them this could be a catalyzing influence where they can further they may want further want to explore ramayan so one is getting introduced to ramayan second is exploring ramayan further those who already have some familiarity with it and third is as devotees when we want to discuss start a discussion with people who are who are relatively new or who are somewhat familiar to ramayan the movie could be a starting point for the discussion so generally to get krishna and get spiritual concepts into the consciousness of people to still get them interested if we have something that they are already interested in and connected with that that is a very powerful way of reaching out to people it it intrigues them so this could be a discussion point to have a connection between contemporary popular culture and and traditional or timeless spiritual culture and spiritual wisdom so to summarize these four levels that it uh, is it a retelling of the ramayana well, not in a traditional sense and for those who are directly interested in the ramayana this could just be a distraction uh, 
But for those who wish to do outreach and share spiritual wisdom, the parallels between this movie and Ramayana could become an icebreaker, a starting point for discussion. For those who are familiar with the Ramayana, this may excel, inspire them to explore it further. And for those who have no awareness of the Ramayana, they are simply attracted to the action and the adventure and the thrill. So they are experiencing Krishna, but without knowing it is Krishna. So, however, if this experience of Krishna is presented within a narrative that is connected with Krishna, then that can start their spiritual journey. So overall, such a, so rather than having completely mundane movies with no spiritual themes at all, uh, is Monday, movies which have some spiritual themes can be a way of raising spiritual consciousness among those who are not ready for direct spirituality. Thank you. Hare Krishna.